Next person up to speak is Suleyma Lazarin. She is uh, born and raised in El Paso. Many leadership roles in El Paso. Program manager, El Paso Healthy Marriage Program. Rio Grande Council of Governments Project Specialist. Greater El Paso Chamber of Commerce Leadership El Paso Project Coordinator. City of El Paso Administrative Assistant to former city representative Joe Pickett. Some of the civic roles, Texas Silver Hair Legislature Selection Committee, United Way Allocations Panel, Amigo Air Show Public Relations Manager, ladies and gentlemen, Sulema. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Sulema Lazarin, and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for this opportunity to speak to you here today. Um, I'm going to talk about property taxes. Most of the constituents that I have spoken to are fed up with our property taxes. So what do we need to do uh, to alleviate this heavy burden that we're paying? We need to help strengthen our economy here in El Paso, Texas. We need to help bring businesses to El Paso. We need to become a more business-friendly environment in El Paso. And we don't want our businesses, our new businesses, trying to establish themselves going to Las Cruces. We don't want to lose them to Las Cruces because they facilitate the process of becoming a new business. They walk them through the process. They don't have to go through the red tape that we go through when they become a new business here at City Hall. There's a lot of red tape at City Hall, and some of our new businesses get disgusted, and they decide not to come here after all. So we want to do away with that. We want to be business friendly. We want to, uh, we want to remove all these excess fees, all these excess bonds, all these uh, uh, citations that they give our businesses over minuscule things. We want to remove all of these things. Now, what can we do to strengthen our economy? How can we help with that? Let's work with the businesses. Some of the things we can work with, we have right around the corner. We are a unique city in that we are a border city right next to Mexico. Let's work with Mexico. Let's work with the businesses in Mexico, with the maquiladoras. We used to have a lot of maquiladoras here in El Paso, Texas. They were located in the foreign trade zone right behind the airport. They were twin plants, and they would come back and forth from El Paso to Juarez. A lot of our maquiladoras left. They left to work with China, but they're coming back. So let's help promote the maquiladoras so they can work with what we have right next door. This is the maquiladoras that we have in Mexico. That is one way that we can help, because we have something that already exists in El Paso. Let's help these businesses. Let's help the businesses from Juarez and Chihuahua. I know some people think, no, we don't want that here. But, you know, they, they come to El Paso, they establish businesses, they buy new homes, and they're paying taxes. So let's, let's embrace them and let's help them come to El Paso. Those are the two areas that have buffered the economy here in El Paso, Texas. And last of all, the uh, Fort Bliss expansion. We need to help Fort Bliss with the military influx. We promised to help them with their housing needs, and they've had two years, they have a two year waiting list with their housing needs. Thank God developers are now going to build homes in the area close to Montana and Joe Battle and Northeast by William Beaumont. But we need to help all of these different areas to strengthen our economy here in El Paso, Texas. And businesses, new businesses, let's promote them, let's help them establish themselves here in El Paso because I don't want and you don't want our property taxes to continue increasing, increasing more and more. Let's stop that now. I thank you.